Welcome to another edition of Ask Nappy. I'm Abhinav Girdhar, founder of Appify. Today's question comes from Samantha from Florida, United States. And she asks that she's not very technical and as of now, she does not have a full stack engineer or a CTO. So she wishes to know how can she go about creating her own SaaS platform? What is the best web development framework that she should be using? Samantha, there are over 50 web development frameworks that come into my mind. And I will also share these 50 web development frameworks in the description of this edition. Now, let's talk about some popular web development frameworks to create your own SaaS engine. So, one of the most popular web development frameworks that are being utilized by some of the likes of Shopify is Ruby on Rails. However, this specific skill set on Ruby on Rails is not readily available. So hiring a person who is excellent with Ruby on Rails is relatively harder. So the three web development frameworks where you can find excellent talent would be the LAMP stack. The second stack would be the main stack, which is gaining a lot of traction these days. And the third traction would be the good old Microsoft stack. So let's go one stack at a time. Let's talk about the LAMP framework. LAMP is primarily Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So the LAMP development frameworks, the most popular are the ones that are basically based on the MVC model. Some of the top names that come into my mind are the Yee framework, the Zen framework, the Laravel framework. So these are some of the frameworks you can use uh, if you think and you decide to go with the PHP stack. Now let's talk about the main stack. Main stack is primarily modeled around MongoDB, Expression Framework, AngularJS, and Node.js. So that's how it's basically structured. This is the stack where most of the startups are actually using at this particular point of time. The reason why main stack is becoming so popular is primarily MongoDB is a very scalable and a robust database system. And then you couple it with AngularJS, which is a JS-based framework, is also very, very fast. And you can also develop your application as a progressive web app. And the third stack is the good old Microsoft stack, where you have a Windows server, we're using ASP.NET, and also the MS SQL as your database. It's also very, very popular. All those legacy systems that have been developed are actually developed on this particular technology. And it's still very, very popular with Microsoft Azure Cloud. And now let's talk about the JS-based framework, which are very, very popular and gaining a lot of traction. Since React.js was made open source by Facebook, the adoption for React has been very, very high. So I would also recommend you to look at React Native and the React.js framework. Uh, on top of that, you could also look at the AngularJS framework, which we've already talked about with Node.js framework. And Google has recently launched the Flutter framework. Again, a very, very popular framework. As I mentioned at the start of this edition, that I have created a detailed article where I've talked about over 50 frameworks which you could use. So depending upon the pros and cons of each framework and where you can find the best talent, you can decide the framework, the web development framework that best suits you. If you like this edition, then do share it on social media channels like Facebook and Twitter. And do remember to subscribe to our channel.